SHOT SHOW 2016 at the Benchmade booth. How's it going, Derek? Good. I'm Derek with Benchmade Knife Company. Show you some uh, new products we have for 2016 here at SHOT Show. So you might have already seen these out in the wild. Um, it is our brand new Griptilian, which is an extension of the Griptilian family. So previously we've uh, had G10 handle scales in the Griptilian family through limited editions or uh, special editions. No longer, we now have them in line, meaning they are available all the time. As long as you guys want them, we'll keep making them. So very, very rigid feel, of course, you know, G10 just provides that kind of solid feel to it. Cool gray, as we call it, uh, different kind of texturing as well for this new Griptilian. So all the new Griptilians, just to keep in mind, are our Dash 1 series. So anything with a Griptilian number, Dash 1, is our G10 uh, versions, which are brand new. Accenting it, we have a layer of blue G10. So it's all solid piece of G10 with a just a colored blue layer milled in, or, uh, as part of that uh, handle. Blue anodized barrel spacers. Deep carry pocket clip will come standard on all these. And we've also upgraded our steel on this new uh, extension of the family to uh, CPM 20 CV. So now that's a high-end American steel, very great corrosive resistance properties, as well as good uh, edge retention properties. Kind of the equivalent of like M390, but the American version. Now we've also got it in the full-size Griptilian there as well. We show yours, we could also show mine. <laughs> Here's mine, I brought it from home. Went ahead and purchased that when I saw it come out. I had to have it. <laughs> it's freaking sweet. So there you are. It's a great knife. It'll be a good one to add to your EDC collection uh, or not just turn into your e everyday carry. So, yep, full size Griptilian as well. It comes in every blade variant basically that you could expect for in uh, the Griptilian family. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, when I first saw it, part of the reason I went ahead and bought it because I was like, uh, is this going to stick around? This may be, uh, may be my only chance to get this version of it. So I just went ahead and jumped in, in there and bought it. But it's cool to hear that it's going to stick around for as long as people want it. Yep. Uh, I, I should correct myself. I don't believe it's set right now for a Tonto Blade version, but drop point, sheep's foot, we will okay. have all those. Good time. So moving on, uh, new in our Hunt series, which we launched about two years ago, is the Crooked River. So uh, like in our Hunt series, we offer a lot of variants uh, between the wood as well as G10. Uh, I'm going to touch on the wood because that's my personally my favorite, but there is a G10 option in gray as well. So you have stabilized wood as well as aluminum bolster with a nice little accent piece of this orange uh, pivot ring. G10 backspacer. And like anything in our hunt series, we've been uh, going with S30V because it's just a great well-balanced steel, great edge, uh, edge retention, great uh, corrosion resistance, and just all-around steel, especially for something in the field, great to have. And you know, just because it's part of our hunt series, there's still a lot of crossover. If you like big knives, this would definitely fit in uh, the big knife category if you like having a big folder with you all the Yeah, time. absolutely. I can see that as a nice large or extra large EDC with the uh, blade being four plus inches maybe. What is it? Uh, I think it's about four inches. About four inches. And may I? Yes. Uh, thank you. The handle on it fills the hand really nicely. Uh, it's going to fill your pocket up fairly well, but it's also not super heavy for its size. Yeah, it's a little misleading, right? You see yeah. this big knife, you anticipate it to be a lot heavier than it is, but um, it's actually pretty light. Probably partially to the aluminum bolsters, and then just uh, the stabilized wood definitely reduces a lot of that weight. I can see that, and it's very attractive as well. And you see that the, uh, the pocket clip area there is kind of carved, and it looks molded out, but obviously this is wood. It's so all it's milled out. Milled out. So it's uh, very, very attractive and very functional too. I like it. And we said we have a G10 version as well. Of course, yes, we have a G10 version in the gray. So a big kind of theme for us this year. We did a lot of grays, um, but Crooked River with the G10. So for those who like G10 over the wood, this gives it kind of a more sleek, even more kind of modern look to it with kind of old flavor, especially with the blade profile. But big folder actually sits in your pocket really comfortably. Uh, I I have smaller. I'm smaller in stature, so usually, you know, my pockets uh, don't have a lot of real estate due to like giant cell phones, giant everything. Uh, giant knife is like the thing I don't necessarily need to add in, but this would be uh, actually it's really comfortable and it's very discreet in my opinion. I like it. Very cool. Large EDC or hunting knife. Uh, great addition. The prices on those are going to run. Uh, I believe around 210. 210. That's actually not that bad. Not bad. Around 200. Um, 
I'm a little off on my MSRPs no sometimes, but always check at Benchmade.com. That's yep. the best place to always reference. Yeah, very cool. We got another really attractive one here. So big, again, sticking with big folders. We've done some flippers this year, and this is one of them. Uh, this is actually our last collaboration with Warren Osborne, who uh, mm -hmm. sadly passed away a couple yes. weeks ago. Yes. Um, this is a tie monolock folder designed by Warren Osborne. Uh, you have full titanium on one side, and then G10 on the other side. Our thrust bearing system is featured in this, and these actually are not thumb lugs, that's actually the blade stop. Um, but great smooth action, I can translate that over to camera. Really nice. Um, lots of folks are doing ball bearings these days in the pivot. I love it when I can see it, and then it's, uh, it's so fast, so smooth. It's smooth, right? Yeah. And it generally provides a super solid lockup at the same time. Very good lockup as well, yes. Yeah. Um, so for the blade seal that we did on the 928, uh, we're featuring um, CPM 20 CV, which you saw in the Griptilian. Again, just good edge retention, awesome corrosion resistance. We're really excited about this steel, if you can't tell already. <laughs> yeah, well, one last Osborne design, and it looks pretty nice. Oh, real quick, we do like to point out adjustable lock face on this guy, too. Oh, very nice. Great detail. Cool. Moving on, still kind of continuing with flippers. Do you know what that one's running? This one will be 295. 295, okay. okay. It's a big chunk of titanium. <laughs> sure. Also part of it, uh, part of the flippers that we're introducing in 2016, this is the 490 Amicus. Now, if you're familiar with our Emissary series, this is very reminiscent of that. Um, kind of a slicker kind of finish on it though. Um, but it is a axis assist flipper. So this is the first for us. Very subtle flipper tab right here. All you have to do is give it a little nudge. Your blade pops out. Beautiful S90 V blade. Uh, high bevel grind, so S90V we did introduce in the 940-1, which right now has been killing it for us, like crushing it, doing really well as far as edge retention qualities go. Probably one of our best deals in terms of edge retention. Cool. Uh, we have uh, slick aluminum G handles there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. May I? Thank you. Um, we talked about this off camera that um, a slick handle is actually really, really nice on your pants pockets, and so there's Definitely some um, some forward thinking and functionality in regards to that. Yes, it's true that it will fe feel kind of slick in hand, and if you have an issue with that for um, whatever work you might be doing, well, there's tons of other really grippy knives you could buy. This is more of a sort of a lightweight gentleman's carry, uh, meant for simple tasks, simple uh, cutting, but something that can also be extremely sleek and uh, just generally beautiful to look at. Yep. And we do also have a safety added in, just you know, just extra precautions for those who like to engage safeties and make sure that blade stays shut while it's in their pocket. Oh, here it is. Yep, That's very subtle, that. right? Yeah, I completely missed it. So you would push this back, I guess. Yep, so. very positive click. And then you can't press that. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Very cool. I'm digging that one a lot. It's 490 Amicus and um, MSRP on that, I can't, I'm not really sure, but uh, please log on to Benchmade.com, check it out. Okay. Be some great options there. North of 200, I'm sure. Uh, it will be north of 200, yes. Yeah, cool. And then, um, go ahead. Moving on. So, uh, like our uh, Griptilian family, we wanted to expand on the Barrage family, which has done really well and it's always been a good staple for EDC knives. Uh, so the Barrage family gets a new little makeover with G10 handle scales as well. Um, we'll start with the 585. This is the mini Barrage. Full G10, cool gray G10 handle scales. So again, as we were saying off camera, this isn't the first time we introduced G10. We have the 586, which has G10 and aluminum uh, consisting on the handles. This is just full G10. Um, we did upgrade the blade steel on this knife to S30V over 154 cm. But if you've ever used a barrage, same barrage action. Same safety on the back. Same safety on the spine. Yep. Right here with very positive clicks. A little backspacer for accenting. Mm -hmm. But just provides that kind of that nice kind of robust feel that you get with G10 in a yeah. folder. If I may, real quick. Sure may. The um, as I was saying before, you need something grippy. You got it right here. That's very nice and grippy. The G10 is milled in such a way that uh, there's lots of traction, lots to lock your hand into it. Um, I've always liked the Barrage series. I would do it like this new version of it. 
Uh, extending the line, is this going to be kind of a line extension? Yeah, it's a line extension, so uh, anything with a dash 2 at the end of it in the Barrage family, so what you're holding right now is a 585 dash 2. Gotcha. Well, we hope it sticks around for a long time because that's a very good looking one. Again, I'm, I'm digging the gray. There's something about it that's very handsome. Gray is uh, definitely the color of the year, right? Yeah, right? I mean, who would think that gray is going to be cool looking, but right? I don't know. It's light black. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> something about it is really attractive, so well done. And of course, you got it in the large yep. garage as well. Uh, give you a quick look at that. Basically, a uh, not completely scaled up, but uh, a, um, a large version of it. Right. So there you go. So that'd be the 580-2, and uh, these will ballpark around two, the 200 range. Yeah. Okay. Um, really great for what you're getting. Um, yeah. S30V can't ask for anymore, right? I agree. No, it's uh, and the 154CM version of it has been great for me. I like it a lot, but adding a new blade steel, adding a new color and uh, texture to the handles. Really cool. Like, glad to have that. Awesome. Let's talk about fixed blades. We right. have a large, robust fixed blade here, courtesy of uh, designed by Shane Seibert, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, you can very much tell that if you're familiar with any Shane Seibert's work, who's done the Damas or the Bushcrafter for us. It has a lot of that flair to it, in addition to his name right being right there. So this knife is a big chunk of 154cm. I pivoted over to show you the thickness. <laughs> so 154CM does come in plain edge or combo edge as you see right now. G10 handle scales held on by pressed titanium tubing. Another kind of signature of Shane Seibert's. Very cool. It does allow for a lot of options too if you want to like run a rope through it and be able to fix it to like a long stick, mm -hmm. create a spear. Um, so a lot of utility to this in the field, um, survival wherever you might want out of a large folder or a large fixed blade. Sure, actually. sure. Can I get a hand on that? Sure may. Thank you. And we see some nice divots right here cut out, giving you the ability and the, uh, some comfort and grabbing it like so and doing some backwards cuts if you want to. Uh, does it come only in the serrated, part serrated version or is there a Nope, full? there's a plain edge version as well as a satin blade. Oh, very nice. So we've got a handful of options there. Yep. Uh, looks very nice overall. It's, like you said before, it's a big chunk of steel. Um, large, heavy, tough, great big uh, pounding pommel there on the bottom. Um, great addition. I like it overall. And of course a little choke up toil to get up here and do some of your fine detail work if you want to. Cool. And to add to that, in addition to the knife being just an awesome tool, yeah. it's the carry system. So the carry system is a brand new one, obviously specific to the 119 Arvensis, which is the knife you just saw. Uh, this is actually Bolteron, which is a little more stable than uh, Kydex. Uh, stands up a little better to high temperatures, so Kydex, when it gets to certain temperatures in high heat areas, will start warping, losing its shape a little bit. Bolteron will be a little more stable in those conditions, as well as cold. In cold conditions, it won't become as brittle as Kydex might. Interesting. Uh, um, lots of mounting options as you can see. We've added just strap options that you can run anywhere. Strap loops there on both sides. Um, this new latching system, which is very similar to kind of a tech lock by American uh, Sportsman. You'll be able to rotate it, orientate it however you'd like, or just even just simply slip it through a belt and then lock it up. Nice. But so it retains into the sheath very well, um, even without the strap. But once you get that strap on it, of course, it's uh, a very positive, um, you know, basically impossible to pull off kind of situation. So the extra retention strap does make it jump rated. So we're excited about it. It's a big Shane Seibert folder, or uh, fixed blade. I keep calling it a folder, <laughs> but it's a great fixed blade. Definitely yeah. check it out. Yeah, for sure. A lot of awesome stuff from Benchmade this year. Uh, not a surprise at all. Uh, definitely go check out those Griptilians. I've got one already, and uh, I guess there'll be time to pick one up, but you know what? They're sweet. <laughs> if you haven't picked up a Griptilian yet, try one of these. Uh, just a great line overall. I'm super stoked about this one right there. Cool. Thank you so much, Derek. Excellent. Really appreciate it. We are at the Benchmade Booth SHOT Show 2016.